Hello, everybody. Good Thursday afternoon. It's time to cook. Now, I know I've cooked spaghetti a many, many times. We're going to do it a little bit different today. Uh, so, y'all hang in there with me. It's going to be short, sweet, and really, really good. We're going to be using some different ingredients today. So, hope y'all are having a God-blessed Thursday. I certainly am. The weather is a little bit rainy here, but nonetheless, it feels really good. It's nice and sort of warm. But it's sort of cloudy a little bit, but we'll take the clouds today. How about that? Okay, let's start off like this. I've got um, <clears throat> I've got my pot right here on the stove, as you can see. Okay, I've got some olive oil in there, and what I'm gonna do is just let it heat up, and I'm gonna start sauteing my peppers and onions. I've got a medium onion and a medium green pepper chopped up and i'm going to put it in this pot here and just saute it and then i'll add in my uh, other ingredients and i'll tell you what they are as we go along and i'll tell you uh how they're different than the other time there's not a whole lot of difference but it's a little bit different than what i normally do so in this container here like i said i've got my peppers and onions not quite ready to go in so i'm going to just set it off to the side and while everything is heating up I'll go ahead and call off the things that I'm going to be using okay this is Italian style turkey sausage by Jenny O got a roll of that and I've got a roll of fresh ground turkey you all know that I use turkey products so this is going to be a healthy pot of what spaghetti sauce not going to have any any, any of the, the greasy meats or anything like that in there so and this is a package of Look at this, y'all. Chicken Italian style smoked sausage. I'm going to be putting those in there. So that's the big difference there. I tr I'm trying these from Sam's Club. So there's going to be three different meats in here. It's going to be a pound of sausage, a pound of turkey sausage, and a pound of ground turkey. And I mean, everything's going to be in one pound increments pretty much. So what I'm going to do. Uh, there are 12 sausage in here, and it's three pounds, so I think, let's see, that, I need to use four sausage out of there. And these are pretty good size. I don't know what they taste like, but they looked good to me, so I'm going to try them out. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and get me a play here, so when I get done slicing them, I can just put them right into my pan there. Two, three, and four. So these are chicken Italian style sausage, and these are by Members Mark. And Members Mark, of course, you know, is Sam's Club. So we'll put these off to the side. That grease smells like it's pretty hot. And the oil that I've got in there, of course, is um, olive oil. I've got a fourth cup of olive oil in there. And of course, that's going to lend itself to that Italian taste. So we're going to make this as authentic as we can. We're going to use our. Uh, Okay, so what I'm going to do is just slice these sausage like so. And like I said, this is going to be the equivalent of one pound of uh, sausage. Okay, just turn it around this way. Cut it from this end. And the reason I'm not cutting it on the counter is because I want to have them already in the plate. Because normally I'm not cut right on top of the counter. Okay, and, well, there's a couple I missed there. So, you no, know, I didn't know the cut. They just didn't cut all the way through. I got to sharpen my knives again. Okay, so, what I'm going to go ahead and do is get my, um, got my sausage all cut up. So, I'm just going to put them right in. That oil is good and hot, y'all. So, we're going to let those start to... And what I always try to do when I'm making uh, this sauce, I try to let each one of uh, my ingredients, that, that one I didn't cut it off, each one of my ingredients have their own little, I should have cut these, I should have cut them relatively thin, but there's a couple I didn't cut thin at all. Well, oh, I really got to chop this knife, y'all. Okay. Those are good to go. And there's one more. 
that I need to start for the minute. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Got everything all set. They smell wonderful, y'all. Now. Got that going. So. Just bring the camera on in on that pot. Because this is going to be our main attraction. Is this pot of spaghetti sauce. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start putting, keep this heat up high because I want these to saute, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and jump in my peppers and onions. Y'all know I told you I put in one medium onion and a medium green pepper. Just put it in my little food chopper and chop it right up. Get all that going. And then I'm going to let that pan heat all the way back up. And I'll start putting in my uh, ground sausage and my ground ground turkey sausage, ground turkey. And we're just going to let it all saute until it gets nice and browned up. And then we'll start putting in our meat sauce. And I'm going to show you I got a different kind of meat sauce. So now in goes the, let's put all that, uh, the turkey sausage package in there. So this is going to be a loaded pan of spaghetti. So all this, let's get it going in there together. And I'm going to get my ground turkey ready to go in. What you doing, Narik? Narik is here with me today. He's waiting on his grandma to come get him. She's supposed to be taking him with her to go shopping. Okay, put it on the counter for me, baby. This. No, put over there on the other counter. Thank you, darling. He's such a sweetheart. He's four now. He's getting so tall. What are you, are you still watching your uh, program? Or are you, are you, what are you doing? Ooh, that's going to be a lot of meat in this spaghetti. But that's good. The more meat, the better my family will like it. My folks are meat lovers. They love the meat, huh? They want the meat sweats. Okay. While that is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get some spices out of the cabinet. And just let that, it's going to take about 15 minutes for that to uh, get where I want it before I put the other ingredients in. I got the news going, y'all. I don't know what all is going on today, but I haven't looked at the news a whole lot today. Okay, I've got my uh, Tones Italian seasoning. I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of that in, or a tablespoon now, to get that meat going. And then when I put the other spices in, I'll put another tablespoon in. Oh, also in that uh, chopped bell pepper and onion, I had a couple of nice cloves of fresh garlic also. Okay. Yeah, these sausages seem like they're pretty good. And I've had the chicken sausage before, but they had a different, um, I think they were applewood or something like that. And they were really good. So these are supposed to be uh, Italian flavored. And I believe they're going to be okay. Okay. Now... Get that meat seasoned up good. I'm going to put me a tablespoon of complete seasoning in there. Okay. Wow. Whew. That pumped it up. And I'm searching now. I'm going to put me a little, another teaspoon of just plain garlic in there. Just my, um, my powder, garlic powder in there. Just a teaspoon now. Okay. Get that off to the side. Okay, we're just going to let this continue. See how meaty that is? Like I said, about 15 minutes to get everything browned up and sauteed. Because the difference between just putting it all in there before uh, you saute it is that you get the flavors cooked in and sealed in. So, okay. Now, my sauce, I'm trying a new Romano and Ricotta and cheese and ricotta cheese sauce all the way from italy this is a member's mark so i'm featuring member's mark product so i'm gonna put that a jar let's see this is a 
1.54 pounds, so it's 24.7 ounces. So, um, yeah. There we go with that. And then, okay, I've got a can, of course, a can of diced tomatoes. I always put diced tomatoes in. I love the diced tomatoes. Normally, I put in some, um, I'm not even sure that I remember to get some tomato paste. I like to always put a little tomato paste in there, too, y'all, because tomato paste More thickens it up. But I don't have any tomato paste. I might just use tomato sauce. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's cooking nicely, y'all. So while that cooks for another five or ten minutes, I'm going to go off and do some other things, and I'll return. Okay, we're back. I'm ready now. I'm going to go ahead and put in my um, tomato sauce. Now, these come, these were on sale, actually, yesterday when I went in. These were like two jars for like $4.96 or some really, really, really inexpensive price. I'm going to throw my tomatoes in there. Shake them around. Make sure I get everything out of it. That's, this is some good tasting sauce, I have to tell y'all. So if you ever want to try it, now I don't know if this is a new item that they're going to carry all the time. Or if this is just something that's a temporary thing. Because you know, Sam's Club will often get items in that they don't carry all the time. So my tomato, I poured the tomatoes in there so that I can make sure I get all the goodie out. The sauce is real, real thick, y'all. So I really don't think I need that tomato paste. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a nice pot of sauce. Mm. Oh, it smells wonderful. Okay. Now, of course, you know, I put my brown sugar in. And this is optional. My family likes the little bit of sweet taste. Mm. So I put a, a half a cup of brown sugar in. It stirred it really good. This is going to be so wonderful, y'all. Oh, my goodness, it smells good. So I'm going to let it cook once I get everything all mixed and stirred in here. We're going to cook this sauce for a good uh, 30, 45 minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my noodles ready because I always do baked spaghetti, y'all. Let that cook a little bit. Then I'm going to taste of it to see what else I need to put in there. So we're just going to let it go ahead and cook a little bit. Okay. I don't think I'm going to need that um, tomato paste. Usually I need the tomato paste to help to get the uh, sauce thick. But I think this is really, really thick like it should be because that sauce was real thick. That uh, uh, <clears throat> This member's mark, Romano and ricotta cheese pasta sauce. Really, really good. I think I did good on that one. And the price was just unbelievable, y'all. So we'll let that cook a little bit. In fact, I'm going to get my lid and put it on there. And then um, I'll come back and let you know if I need to add any other ingredients to it. Okay, y'all. The spaghetti sauce, I believe, is ready. I went ahead and let it cook uh, for about three hours. I just decided that because I did not have tomato paste and I was not going out. So the longer you let it cook, the more thick the... Um... Okay, I'll be there in just a second. My little baby is talking to me. I'll be there in a minute, sugar. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying was tomato paste gives uh, spaghetti sauce and any other sauces like that a particular taste. Close the refrigerator for me now. What are we doing? Come on, close the refrigerator. He's a cheese lover. He's trying to get another piece of cheese. Close the refrigerator so you don't get in trouble. Okay? 
No, you don't either. Come on, he's trying to talk about a piece of cheese, y'all. Bless his little heart. He love those little baby bell cheese. Okay, let me get done, and I might think about it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna call the refrigerator first, though. Okay. You don't want to get a spanking, do you? No. Okay, close the refrigerator then. Okay. You have to understand what I'm saying. When I ask you to do something, I need you to do it then, okay? Okay. All right, darling, we understand each other now. I'll get with you in just a minute, okay? You have to okay. tell children. You don't have to scream at them and get them to understand stuff. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break, boil my spaghetti noodles and get them going. And then I've got this skillet here with uh, some Smart Start. I'm going to put some garlic, uh, about a teaspoon of garlic powder in here. And I'm going to make some, this is my uh, garlic butter that I'm going to be putting onto my uh, Papa Pizza's bread. Okay. So. What I'm gonna do is I got that melted down, so I got that all melted down real good. I'm just gonna drench it in there, and then I'm gonna put them in the oven and let them heat up a little bit. Okay, baby, I'm coming. Excuse me. Okay, I'm back, almost done here. The spaghetti sauce is ready. Like I said, I went ahead and let that spaghetti cook a total of about three hours. It's nice and thick now, just as if I had the tomato paste in there. And I like a good thick, thick, thick sauce, and I like that certain flavor. So. I only had just a tiny bit of uh, tomato paste, but I made it work and what helped it along the way, I just cooked it longer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get these noodles going, then I'm going to uh, go ahead and get my bread ready. I got my, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a half a stick of butter, and I've got uh, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of, of um, complete seasoning. And it's just in melted butter. Mix it all up, and I'm gonna dip those a uh, pop of pita uh, pieces of bread in that. I'm gonna run them through the oven for about five minutes, and that's what we're gonna eat with that spaghetti. So let me go ahead and I bought this time I bought the pot size uh, spaghetti. So I'm gonna get those going. By the time I get this bread going, yes, darling. Can you get the cheese for Yeah, me? go ahead and get your piece of cheese, baby. Since okay. you're so sweet and so polite. And listen, that's got to be the last cheese now. No more cheese, okay? Okay. He's had four of those little baby bell cheeses, y'all. And you know, it's so hard to say no to them. But I think he's going to be all right after this one. Because you, you can't have no more after this one, okay, darling? Okay. All right, just get you one. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and um, I will show you these are Papa Peters. I had just separated them and had them in the freezer. But these are those Papa Peter uh, Peter bread, and this is what they look like. They're nice and soft. And I'm just gonna dip them on each side with that. Okay. He brought me one. Wasn't that sweet? Cause you know what he's gonna do when she come over here and ask me help me. Can he have a piece? Okay, so I'm just gonna put these on some foil and they're gonna go into the oven for a few minutes. Just long enough for that um, butter and all to cook into them. And this is gonna be some, oh, it's, there's four of them in here. I think it's only three. Let me see. Okay. You know what? I think I'm since I got four out, I'm gonna go ahead and do four. I only put enough butter for three. And in my spaghetti, you'll see it looks red. I put some of that, uh, the oil out of the, some of the olive oil out of that spaghetti sauce. I just put a little bit of right in there, just for flavoring. Okay. And this is going to be our dinner for tonight. And this is just, it's a, it's, it's prolonged because I let that spaghetti sauce cook a long time. But if you want a real, real good spaghetti sauce, like authentic, 
go ahead and cook it four or five hours or three or four hours so hold on i'll be right back okay i'm getting ready to do my baked spaghetti the sauce is ready the noodles are ready i got my bread over here to the side i'm only going to put this uh baked spaghetti into the oven for about 35 minutes so let's go ahead and start putting uh, some sauce in the pan what's, what's first what's wrong with that Nothing. Because meditation is... What's wrong? You gotta put some sauces in. I'm doing these half size pans um, this time because I'm thinking I'll have some left over and it'll freeze better. How's that? Okay. So I'm just going to put some uh, sauce in the bottom of the pan and then I'm going to start putting the noodles right on top. And these noodles are cooked al dente. Grandma, yeah. they be showing me. Yeah, I got you some over there fooling off. He's, he wants some noodles. Okay. So we're just going to continue just to layer this in back and forth, back and forth until uh, we get the pan as full as we want it. Let's move that up there. Let's see, is that a better shot? Yeah, that's a better shot right there. Much better shot. Okay. Okay. Like I said, we're just going to alternate with the sauce and make sure we get lots of sauce in between because I got a pot of sauce here. A big pot of sauce. So plenty of sauce. So it won't. Because sometimes I have, I have to admit, I've cooked it a few times and it got kind of dry on me. I don't want this dry. Don't want it dry. Now, in between. I'm going to sprinkle it with some of my dry Romano cheese. No, no, no. Let's see. Okay. 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 I'm going to sprinkle it with some uh, Romano. In between here, about a cup of tablespoons yeah. like so. And then I'll put a little bit more sauce, and then I'll start back over with the noodles. And then we'll just keep it going until we get the pan full. So when I get them done, I'll be back, and I'll pop them into the oven. Okay, y'all, it's ready. There's that baked spaghetti and that papa pita garlic. And let's see, I got garlic, butter, and seasonal. Not seasonal, but... Um, Said the wrong name for this. I don't want to say the wrong. Oh, complete seasoning is what I season that uh, sauce to go on that bread. So everything is ready. It's out of the oven. It's piping hot. We get ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal. So it's all done. And again, I cooked that spaghetti sauce an extra, extra, extra long time to make sure that I got the flavor that I want. And of course, I got some extra sauce back there on the back burner. So if we want extra sauce over that spaghetti, we can have it or we can dip our bread in. So listen, thank y'all for hanging out with me while I make this meal. Ordinarily, it would not have taken this long, but we got some good old-fashioned, long-cooked spaghetti sauce going on here tonight. And that Papa Pita bread, y'all will not believe what it tastes like once you put that butter and garlic in that uh, complete season on it and run it through the oven let it soften up soften up and all that oil goes in, that butter goes into and those flavors goes into it's going to be perfect with this baked spaghetti so until i decide to cook again or come back and talk to y'all y'all keep those prayers going up now we need to continue to pray you know um this crisis is escalating in some places and in other places it's getting a little bit better and we're just going to continue to pray and ask god to keep us uh, people are starting to get their money, and I'm hoping that it's going to do for them what they need to do. And we're praying that God will stretch and multiply those, that uh, stimulus check, that those uh, unemployment checks are rolling in. And for those who are working, we continue to pray for you and pray that uh, you stay in good health. Uh, just lift up a prayer uh, for me, for my family, for some of my in-laws that live in Tennessee. Four of those family members uh, have contracted the uh, coronavirus, and we're just praying for them uh, day and night that they're going to come through this thing. So you all stay safe, uh, stay prayed up, continue to pray for one another, and just 
find somebody to call up and uh, say a good kind word to because people are going through in all manner of ways as far as this uh, crisis is concerned. So until I decide to cook again now, y'all, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Love you guys. Toodaloo.